Now when you step on the brakes, you get that triple flash, right? Now that we got all the important stuff out of the way, let's talk about what I need from you for this video. What's up guys, I'm Chris and you're back at Flyride where we're gonna talk about the what, how, and why of custom automotive lighting. I'm really excited because I accomplished something mm, by not actually doing anything. Somebody else accomplished something for me that I'm pumped about and that's gonna help out you and so I need your help. Some of you may have been noticing I've been doing a lot of these F1 brake light flasher installs. We're doing them on GTRs, we're doing them on Subarus, on Hyundais, on everything, right? I want it to be easy to install. I don't want you to have to clip a bunch of little connectors and wires and different stuff like that. I just want it to be like child's play, like the easiest thing you've ever done. You can do yourself, give as a gift for Christmas or something like that. Wink, wink. This is what I need. There's a bunch of different parts that are available. They're called tail is turn modules. You might know of them. They're from our friends at Diode Dynamics. Now, because those were available, I knew that they had access to some of these little connectors. Let me show you what they look like. It's just a very simple connector that you can plug one side into your car, the other side you plug your tail light into, and then any modifications we wanna do we make it so that it's super easy because now it's plug and play. You don't have to mess with wiring. It's easily reversible and it takes very, very little time to mess with. Three dope reasons why patch harnesses are for the win. Let me show you how easy this would be for a WRX, for example. All right, so this is a 2015 through 18 WRX. And if we were gonna do any modifications to it, we would need to get in here and we'd need to first identify which wire does what. So one of those things does turn signal, one does reverse light, one does brake light, one does running light, the other one is ground. If you're gonna be doing this kind of work and you don't know how to identify those, if you don't have a test light, you don't really care how this stuff works and you just want it to be easy, then this is what you would do. You'd pop your trunk, you'd find this thing, you'd unplug it from the car, you'd plug in the patch harness, you'd plug your patch harness back into the car and your install is done. So how does that mean that I need your help? Here's why. I've got a bunch of different cars that I have connectors for now, and they will fit. They fit on like a huge range of cars. I think there's like 60 plus cars that we know of now that these things are gonna work for. I'm gonna be putting that list out and asking for people's help, but what I need is for you to help me find people that would wanna come in in Southern California to Flyride to test to make sure that these things are working perfectly, and if so, I'll do the labor for free or whatever. They'll just be paying for the part like normal, but we'll use their car, we'll make some cool videos out of it. It'll be awesome. I don't work weekends, and I don't work nights. Like, if you want the cool hookup, just show up during the day when I'm working. That would be ideal. Okay, this is a perfect example of why I want to have patch harnesses available. Because if you wanna make cool things happen, that is the running lights for Dustin's taillights. Now when you step on the brakes, you get that triple flash, right? And notice you're getting a triple flash on both of those circles. From the factory, only one of them is supposed to come on with the brakes, but I've modified some things and I've done that all using the wiring on the actual taillight. Let's look how ugly that is. So as you see here, I've got one little module that's gonna control the brightness of this inner one. That's gonna give me brake when we step on the brakes. And also it's gonna have a dimmer mode for running light. So that's what gives us that cool effect. Then we've got the brake flasher from Flyride. You might have heard of them. And that is all wired into the brake light in the ground. So if all of this stuff right here were 100% plug and play, just by plugging something into that little factory connector right there. It would not only be cleaner, but it would just be so simple and easy to mess with. If you were at a car show, you could pop your trunk and plug that thing in and be up in business in seconds, right? As opposed to clipping wires and following directions and DIY stuff. So I don't know why this fly is attacking me. It must be because we're at fly ride. And if this goes really well, then we'll get to have a whole bunch of different new parts all four different kinds of cars. They'll be pre-made, ready to ship all the time. I don't know, I'm pumped about it. I've been wanting to do this. I'm, I wanna continue to find more and more connectors for different types of cars. So specifically like a lot of German cars that I never mess with. It would be so cool to enter those markets with stuff that's just plug and play. It's easy to use. Everybody loves it and I don't know, it's simple, right? I'm trying to aim for simple. I did complicated for so long. I kinda, I get complicated, right? Now I wanna conquer simple. So super exciting stuff. Big shout out to Paul at Diode Dynamics. Thank you for sending me all of those connectors. It's gonna really make a huge difference on the amount of cars that we can work with and quickly do some awesome installs, get some awesome footage and help a lot of people. So I'm pumped about it. 
You guys, thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon so you don't miss the new uploads and don't miss opportunities like this. I wanna hook you up. If you're local, give me a shout, hit me a DM on Instagram or send a message or I don't know, carry your pigeon. However you can get a hold of me, do it. Cause I know I'm not easy to get a hold of, but when you do it, I wanna hook you up. We want people in here. We wanna bring cool cars in, make cool new products. Let's get it. Damn. Seriously?